It's time for the Pike Breakdown Lane on 100 FM, The Pike. Yeah, we do it every Friday at this time. We collect your messages, play them back. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into this week. Morning, yo. Thank God it's Friday. I just wanted to shout out in Springfield, Massachusetts, from Monday to Wednesday this coming week is the startup of the Mayflower Marathon trying to raise as much food as possible for Western Massachusetts food banks. They have four semi-trucks that they are trying to fill up for the food banks. I believe it starts at 8 a.m. on Monday and goes to 10 a.m. on Wednesday. All donations appreciated. Have a good day, guys. Thanks. There you go. Nice plug. I'll uh, I'll find that information. I'll post it up on our uh, X slash Twitter feed at 100 FM The Pike, and that you know that's a great use for the breakdown lane. Uh, you know, plug an event, uh, whether it's charity or not. Plug your business. Give somebody a shout out. Something like that. Hi, I'm calling about the uh, school mascot and stuff that's going on. I just think it's really funny. I grew up in Belmont, little uh, prissy town, and uh, our school mascot was a marauder. We were the mighty marauders. <laughs> and we had a picture of a big pirate in the cafeteria with a big knife in his mouth. And a marauder is somebody who, like, you know, attacks, rapes, pillages, plunders. It's like one of the worst things to be a marauder pirate so yeah that was my school mascot in belmont and nobody had a problem with it i think they're still the marauders i actually hope they are bye guys rock on that's a decent point i mean i still don't i still kind of agree with not having native american mascots but the the example you're giving you know to the kids there is that you know yeah root for the marauders or the pie or the pie like pittsburgh pirates right yeah and pirates did that. They they pillaged. They uh, they burned whole cities or towns. They you know stole. They were criminals basically. My high school was the Plain Edge Red Devils. So I mean, are we? Uh, well, that's like a mythical character. Well, to some like people, a u- unicorn. <laughs> I think so. But yeah, well, you know, to some people, I think the, vi- the the difference here is the story was the fact that Native Americans don't want their trademarks, their logos, their names to be associated with sports teams, and they were the victims. Right. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's that's the story. That's true. But I think she has a good point. Like, yeah. Do you want like a criminal as your your high school mascot? In some high schools, that may make sense. You know, <laughs> Wellesley High School. Ouch. Jerks. Jerks. Wow. That's all I got to say. This Christmas on the Hallmark Channel, he was a Burger King. She was a Dairy Queen. Always at odds. But with some help with holiday magic from orphaned Wendy, can they come together to save McDonald's and possibly fall in love in National Fast Food Day? <laughs> Mike. <laughs> oh, whoops. Wow. That, that, that might was, be the first of these was, Christmas stories I would watch. That was really good. Uh, we talked about that. It was National Fast Food Day yesterday, and we all gave our... Uh, all-star combos. What was yours again, Adam? Uh, I would like to have a Big Mac with uh, onion rings from Burger King and a Frosty from Wendy's. Right. I, I finally settled on a, uh, the uh, fried chicken sandwich mm. from uh, Popeye's, okay. the Five Guys Fries, because oh. I think they have the best fries. A Frosty also from Wendy, and bring back the seven-layer burrito from Taco Bell, Ooh. and uh, a Whopper with extra cheese. I think the... The most fascinating thing I learned yesterday from people calling in about that is that there are people who actually enjoy burgers without cheese. Yeah, that was fascinating. I can't even remember. And I didn't have time to go out yesterday and actually try it because I can't remember the last time I ate a hamburger without cheese on it. Do these people still watch their movies on VHS right, on or, black or and white televisions? Yeah, so, you know, so maybe today I'll go out just for research purposes and compare a Whopper with cheese and a Whopper without cheese. Because this is what this is what these are what the issues that we care about are. <laughs> Mike. Hey, it's me, God. It's been a minute. I just wanted to say that uh, as an Android user, I'm happy that I can finally get photos from uh, <laughs> iPhones that aren't blurry. I'm just kidding. I'm a BlackBerry guy. Oh, All right, see you guys. <laughs> God's a BlackBerry guy. Wow. Yeah, th- there's that whole cult of Blackberries. I don't think you can use them anymore, can you? I don't believe so. I think they, uh, you know, God's had a hard time getting that new iPhone. Yeah. Well, you know, you know there's on always... back order. People say the Blackberries, uh, you know, like uh, former President uh, Obama. 
w- w- had a fight to give up his BlackBerry. Yeah, he didn't so want did. to do it. People, it's like a cult of BlackBerry. They love it. They were a little more reliable. They like the feel of the buttons. I but guess God likes the feel of the actual buttons. My on his- father-in-law loved his BlackBerry. Yeah, it was one of the last to get rid of them. All right. Well, thank you, God. Thank you, everybody else, for leaving a message on the Pike Breakdown Lane. We do it every Friday, and uh, when you call the Breakdown Lane, don't forget we'll never sell your information. We'll never call you back because we just don't know how. You can call.